Yo, what's up everybody? This is DJ Adam G. Uh, by request, I'm making another how-to video. Uh, after my last video on how to record uh, your videos internally using Virtual DJ, I guess some people were having some issues um, due to, you know, the recording of those videos taking a lot of your uh, computer's resources. So, um, yeah, I got some requests on how to maximize uh, the performance of your computer. So it's just going to be real quick. We'll get right into it. Uh, first thing is we need to download another program. Um, so we're going to go to Mozilla and then we're going to go to um, that uh, website that I used last time, which is www.file. Uh, Hippo.com. Go there. Um, one of the best things I found for maximizing the performance is having a cleaner. So we're going to download uh, this CC cleaner right here. Um, if you guys haven't heard about it, it's just a nice little free uh, sort of registry cleaner. You click on that. Um, then you go here. You download the latest version. I'm not going to do it because I have it in my computer already so you download that then you install it and when you're done installing it you'll have an icon on your computer that looks like that we'll double click that um, do you want to run the program yes and then um, what we'll do is it has all these little check marks box so we just want to click on analyze it starts analyzing your computer and finds all the garbage and I guess uh, internet files and whatever blah 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 and there we go um, so it just comes up with all kinds of crap that's in your system that could be cleaned out so it's got about um, 11,429 megabytes of crap in the computer that could be cleaned out which is a lot actually uh, that's almost that's like 10 or 11 gigabytes I think yeah um, so we'll go ahead after you analyze it got that you come down here you click on run cleaner and boom uh, this process will permanently delete the files from your system are you sure you wish to proceed click yes you go there and it starts doing it All right, so once you're complete, it'll tell you uh, all the details of the files that were deleted. Um, there you go there. So when you're done doing that, which was the actual cleaner, you can go down to here to the registry. Click on that there. And now this is going to check for registry errors. So you click scan for issues. And if this is the first time you've ever done this, you're probably going to have a huge list of uh, issues here. Uh, I'll probably, I have a few, but nothing like when the first time you run it. So that's done. You click uh, select, fix selected issues. Do you want to back up changes to registry? Uh, I never do, but that's totally up to you. Um, I click no, and then I click fix all issues. And boom. It, it, it fixed the issues, and then you click close. So that's that with the registry cleaner. That'll help out a little bit. Now another thing we do is go to your start button, go to computer, instead of left clicking on it, you right click on it and you go down to properties and left click on properties and it opens this up here. Then you go to advanced settings um, and then one of the first things you want to do is click on um, advanced if it's not already, there's computer name, hardware. If, if, if it's let's say you open that and it's here then you would want to go to advanced there and then right here where it says performance you click on settings and boom it'll bring you to this now a lot of people don't know it but your computer or your laptop will usually be set to uh, let Windows choose best for my computer which means there will be all kinds of these boxes checked which are unnecessary so what you need to do is if you got it uh, checked here you need to check it right here adjust for best performance that's what you need um, and then you click OK I'm not gonna do it because I already have it done 
and it'll go through this whole process it'll you know your icons and stuff won't look as fancy schmancy but your computer is going to run a whole lot better so after you do that you can go to advanced and you have virtual memory um, so you want to go to change the virtual memory uh, right here and usually it'll give you a range of uh, you know what uh, what it goes to and what it is but it'll tell you that it recommends this number here 5826 5826 5, megabytes so what you want to do is you want to change that yourself so you go there to where it says initial you put 5,826 and then you put maximum 5,826 you click set you click OK you click OK um, click OK again and it's probably gonna want me to restart my computer um, no it didn't so that's that another thing you want to do now this is a tricky one because uh, you know I don't want you guys to mess up your computers but you can also go to your start menu you go to all programs you go to accessories and then you want to find one that says run and then in this little box you type in M S config which is C O N F I G click OK and then it'll bring you to your startup system configuration you want to go to startup here and it'll show you all the programs that you have set to start up when your computer starts up and usually um, a whole bunch of these boxes will be checked and you can go in here and choose the ones that you I mean be careful doing this because you don't want to mess up your computer and you can't but let's say you know something that ain't gonna mess up your computer like this real player um, and let's say you have LimeWire or whatever to start up when your computer starts you can sh unclick all that so it doesn't start up when your computer starts um, another one of these I could turn off it, well all mines are good so after you choose the ones to turn off um, which turning it off means it, when there's a check in it it'll be on you take the check out it will be off so I'm gonna turn that back on then you would click apply then you would click OK and it's gonna want you to restart your computer you go ahead and restart it and uh, it'll um, make those changes to your computer that way so many programs don't start up in the beginning um, and that'll slow down your startup time uh, but it also slow down the performance of your computer all right so our computer is now restarted um, and then you know I apologize if I'm talking fast and uh, rambling in this video I'm just trying to fit as much information in here as I can for you guys and honestly I don't want to make two uh, videos on the same thing so one last thing here is when you are uh, getting ready to record your videos I recommend you go down here and you shut down any of these programs that are running here like let's say this is my my antivirus if I were recording an internal video I would open right click on it and click shut down on that um, again that's only when you're recording your video you don't want to have your antivirus turned off when you get onto the internet um, but when you know you're not going to be on the internet and you're just making a video you can go ahead and turn that off and uh, that'll help the performance of your computer um, so if you stuck around this long I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick bonus here and show you something um, that's pretty neat uh, I made a video a little while ago or a while back about uh, how to uh, record videos from the internet using the real player well there's another way that you can do that too it's much easier and much better I use Mozilla so if you're using Mozilla which is the only way I know how to do this you click on this right here you go to add-ons so it'll, it'll show you all kinds of different add-ons they have or whatever but when you go to there you go to their search bar and in here you simply type an mp4 and then you click on search oh no that was mpr i meant mp4 sorry 
you simply type in mp4 and click search now when you do that it's going to bring up all kinds of uh, different things on um, how to download uh, videos even how to download youtube videos um, now the first one that comes up is the best one it's not going to come up in mines because i already have it but you would install the very first one it's not this one it'll be the one above it when you do it um, and you click install here um, and then you go ahead and install it will ask you to restart uh, your uh, your browser so you would do that and you restart it and then you can go to YouTube um, and for the sake of infringement or whatever we'll do it on my videos but you could go to YouTube you can uh, go to any video let me choose one here um, I'll choose this little blend video that I did um, which was called I ain't mad at Dougie so you click on that and now the thing about that is anytime you go to YouTube now after downloading that little program it's gonna have this button here which was never there before um, you, you usually had all these but this will be a new one for you it says download as so you click on that and you can click on the highest resolution or you, if you want a lower resolution you could do that but I always click on the highest and boom it starts downloading it that easy um, and so then you'll have that uh, video that was on YouTube on your computer um, so that's just a real quick uh, bonus for you guys if you stuck around and watch this whole video of me rambling and trying to help you guys uh, maximize the performance of your computer for um, you know video mixing all right you guys um, if I hope that helps and uh, if you have any more questions or requests let me know and I will hook you guys up all right peace